Looking for a way to paint without solvents? In this video right here, I'm gonna show you how to accomplish that coming at you right now. Hey guys, Wild for Games coming at you from my creative control playlist where I try to bring you the best tips, tricks, tutorials, and even a little education just like this right here. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell for knowing when my videos go live. And please excuse my mess in this video. I'm rearranging everything for the new year so that we can bring you a little more quality in the upcoming videos. But let's get to it. A while ago, I got asked, is there a possible way to paint without using solvents. A lot of people out there that are beginning painters kind of paint in a small room and they don't have much space. Well, after doing a little bit of digging, I kind of found a solution. And the solution I found was using water mixable paints. These don't actually need any solvents to be cleaned up or to be thinned down. What these are is that they are actually just oil paints, but they've been molecularly changed on a oil level to where they actually don't need to use solvents to break the paint down so that way they come clean. You can actually clean these up with just straight water. And it's actually kind of cool. I have a representation of something I painted. They work the exact same way. They are exactly like oil paints that you would get. And they're not student grade. They're not a knockdown or anything like that. They're professional style paints. It's just, they're just slightly different. Now, the only things that you're gonna notice that might be a little more different about these is to me, I think they have a little bit of an odor. It kind of smells like a like bread or a bagel, a little oldish and stuff. So I still recommend having a vented area or maybe a fan that can blow them away. But they, they blend the same way. They break the same way. They're very firm paints. The nice thing about these is they're non-toxic. They're solvent free. So you just get a nice little jar of water that you have here and you can clean the paint brushes up. The only note that you need to know about things like these is since since you would be using water to clean these up, you don't want to use any of your natural style bristle brushes, like your Bob Ross brushes that you have here. If you dip these in water and you clean them out and you get all the paint out, it's going to be just like your hair. There's going to be too much humidity. All the hair is just going to start to fray out and start to break and things like that. That's a big no-no. So what you want to do is you actually want to use synthetic brushes. And this is going to be better for blending all of your colors. And when you clean these out, it's not going to harm the hair on the ends of the brushes. Now, the nice thing about this is you can still use oils to thin these paints down. Um, there's a lot of different formulas out there that people recommend. It's really depending on which manufacturer you go with. A lot of people say don't go over 30% to the paint, what you mix with. Um, I only used a little bit to thin down for what I was doing here and everything seemed to work fine. Um, the only thing I really did use is I kind of made my own magic white using the titanium white and the oil that I had here, what I did is I had a much smaller can, but I just put a little bit in here, mixed it all up and I would shake it and then I have something to store it in. I'd kind of recommend getting a small little pint can if you can, if you plan on using this method. That way it's nice and easy and whenever you want to paint, just to give it a good old shake and you can put down your magic white and you're good to rock and roll. Now, another thing that you probably want to know about is, you know, can I mix them with oil paints? And you know what? Yeah, you can. You can still mix any of these paints right here with regular oil paints, but depending on how much oil regular paint you introduce to the water mixable paint, you will start have to uh, start using solvents to start cleaning your brush. So be very conscious of that. Now, the only, the only downside you're gonna notice with these is there's not as many color selections, but that's fine. If you get the basic colors, you can make any color out there. But if you're really keen on one hue color that's basically just oil hue, um, you might have to make it under these. These are kind of just primary colors for the most part. I think there's only like 12 to 16, but you might find more from another manufacturer out there. Since we talked about thinning paints, there's two ways you can thin it. Uh, they don't really recommend using water, although you can, but you have to use very, very little. It's recommended you use under 10%. Reason being, if you use generally thinning anything over 10, 20, 30, is uh, you actually start breaking down how the paint bonds with the oil medium in here, and it creates separation. So your paint's not going to actually stick to your canvas, and it's going to start to crack and break and fall off. But you can use a very, very, very little bit of water to thin it down. I had no problems doing it and all my paint stays signed. I used a lot for like my clouds to thin down, but they do recommend just using the oil here to blend and make these a little bit smoother and to stick layers on layers. So one of the cool things about using these style of paints 
is since the oil in them has been changed, the dry time is actually changed. They actually dry a little bit faster than regular oils. Let's just say if you're gonna use any of the old school oils out there, uh, let's just say the average dry time is three to four weeks. With uh, using these, these dried in about one to two, maybe even a little quicker than that, depending on what the temperature is of the weather. And uh, it's kind of nice to be able to be able to put a painting away really quick. Now, if you don't like using any of these paints, there are a few other solutions out there. You can just go to straight acrylics and. Here is my first acrylic painting that I ever did because I didn't know uh, landscape Bob Ross style paintings were done with oil. But you you can do acrylic style paintings if the odors are a bother to you. Um, the only thing I would recommend is moisten your paints down and work in small sections as you move around the canvas and pull forward. But uh, acrylics is a great way to blend and start working on an oil paint. The other thing I would recommend is if you want to use oil paints, uh, and you can't find a way to work around the odor or you don't have much ventilation around. The solution I use, I only paint in about a 10 by 15 room here and I do have a window, but I don't open it too often. I just crack a little bit. I put all of my solvents in this bucket here. And what this is just a regular gallon paint can. And in the bottom here, I just put a grate that sits off some bolts. And then I beat my brush off in here when I clean it. And then all the pigment sits down at the bottom. I rub it off on the sides. And then I put the lid back on. So that way none of the vapors are going up in the air. And this is what I like to do because I don't like the smell or the vapors either. And then I just keep it away from me until I need it. And I usually work off a lot of dirty brushes and it's not that big of a problem. But with all those things said, I will let you guys determine what you think would be best for you. I just wanted to share this with you because a lot of people have been asking me. Uh, I say go ahead and give it a shot. They're not that expensive somewhere between four and six bucks for a lot of these. What I did is I just picked up a black and white to see if I would like it. And uh, I got kind of a pretty painting here and I'm very happy with it. So I say, give it a shot. You never know what you might like. It's not, you know, that big of a, uh, of a, of a pocket burner for you. If you throw a couple bucks, I'll put a link in the description below of where you can buy these online. If you don't have a craft store near you, I just got these at Michael's for a couple bucks. Make sure to use those coupons. Uh, for Michaels and all those other craft stores out there. But I just wanna share this with you. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a nice thumbs up and feel free to share it with all your other artist friends out there. If you guys have any other questions, shoot me the question or leave a comment below because I like researching these things as well. It helps myself get educated and then I get to share the education with you and we can uh, you know, make it go full circle. So I'll see you guys in the next painting tutorial. Have a good one, take care, peace.